In Shining World, Compassion Award News from the United States, Chef Nicole Dursway started the Martha Project in early 2020. This not-for-profit organization serves nourishing vegan meals to the houseless people of Los Angeles. The timing has been crucial in response to the COVID-19 pandemic, which meant that less support was available for this community. The Martha Project volunteers prepare the meals, package them in eco-friendly material, personally distribute the food and interact with the recipients. Before the meals are delivered, the volunteers meditate together to bless the food and visualize the recipients being surrounded by love and light. Ms. Dursway honors the recipients by referring to them as houseless instead of homeless, as she acknowledges that they have a home within the community. I just truly believe that we are all interconnected and um, that we affect each other and um, that this idea of separateness is really just an illusion. Mm -hmm. So in understanding that, you realize that, you know, we're not okay unless we're all okay. And that actually it is my honor and also responsibility to take care of the other people and beings on this planet. Upon hearing about the loving efforts of the Martha Project, our benevolent Supreme Master Ching Hai is very pleased to present the Shining World Compassion Award to Nicole Dursway plus a 10,000 US dollars humble contribution to support this caring work. With all love and gratitude to all involved in heaven's blessing. Our association members in Los Angeles, USA, were delighted to present the award letter Crystalline Plaque, Master's financial contribution, as well as her publications and DVDs to Nicole. The following is an excerpt from the letter. It is with great admiration and gratitude that we present to you the Shining World Compassion Award for providing delicious, home-cooked, plant-based meals and human connection to those without shelter. The mission of the Martha Project, named after your inspiring grandmother, is to use food as a means to bond and care for others, thus removing barriers and uplifting souls with kindness. Since the beginning of the pandemic, your team has also handed out face masks and basic medical necessities to individuals living without a house. The initiative, featured on the popular American television talk show, The Rachel Ray Show, brought the host to tears and touched the heart of viewers. Miss Dursaway was touched by the beauty conveyed in the words of the letter and the lovely crystalline plaque. She was also touched by Master's kind financial contribution and conveyed her thanks to Supreme Master Ching Hai. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's beautiful. It is. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's so beautiful. <laughs> My heart is just so overwhelmed with gratitude. I want to say thank you so much to the Supreme Master and all of the people that are working to help support the organization. Thank you for being a light in this world and I love you. <laughs> thank you. We salute you, Nicole Dursway, for bringing vegan meals of love to the people living on the streets of Los Angeles. May the divine forever protect you. For the full presentation of the Shining World Compassion Award to Nicole Dursway, please tune in to our Shining World Awards program at a later date. South African preprint study warns of Omicron variants' high reinfection risk. In a population level analysis, South African public health experts have identified 35,670 reinfections among nearly 2.8 million individuals who were tested positive for SARS CoV 2 at least 90 days prior to November 27, 2021. In contrast to the beta and delta strains, the Omicron variant, which has up to 32 mutations in the spike protein, is associated with substantial ability to evade immunity from a previous infection and is 2.39 times more likely to reinfect someone than the original virus. Soberingly, Professor Anne von Gottberg of South Africa's National Institute for Communicable Diseases cautions that Omicron is already the dominant variant in the country and that cases will increase exponentially. 
South Africa's daily COVID-19 cases rose 800% within two weeks from approximately 2,400 on November 25th to nearly 22,400 on December 9th, 2021. Many thanks Professor Anne von Gottberg and all scientists involved in the study. As we pray for the speedy recovery of all affected, may every nation urgently put in place vegan law to halt zoonotic outbreaks in God's mercy. Indian engineer develops a system to help recharge groundwater more quickly. Rahul Bukhari of Pune, Maharashtra, has established a company called Earthvam Environmental Technologies that has developed a method to help replenish deep aquifers at a faster rate, thus enabling farmers to have more water. Wells that draw from deeper aquifers may run dry, as it can take a long time for water to get from the upper layers of the earth to lower ones. Erdvam environmental technologies experts study the underground situation using a special camera. Then, the bore charger machine, which the company created, is inserted into the well and drills perforations in the plastic well casing at the higher levels. This allows the water to flow into the lower aquifers, which improves its yield and quality. Our gratitude, Raoul Bukhari and Erdvam environmental technologies, for helping increase water security for Indian farmers. In the grace of the providence, may the global climate soon stabilize and provide sufficient rainfall in farming regions. United Kingdom company sees huge success growing produce in low-carbon greenhouse. Conventional greenhouses use fossil fuel to create heat for plants to survive in the cold weather. However, in the world's first, food producers are utilizing waste heat from a water treatment plant to maintain warm temperatures for the crops. Created by the Low Carbon Farming Group, the Norfolk Greenhouse is built on 16 hectares of land. It is next to Anglian Water's treatment plant, so the excess heat from the facility is utilized by the greenhouse to provide the optimum growing temperature, cultivating over 378,000 tomatoes, 14 million cucumbers, and 22 million peppers. The tomatoes alone supply about 5% of the total UK tomato consumption. Kudos on undertaking such an innovative project, Low Carbon Farming Group. May we seek to tread lightly on our planet, and may the masses soon switch to the compassionate vegan lifestyle in heaven's support. Indonesian clowns bring smiles to youngsters after volcanic eruption. A group of clowns from Akubadut, Indonesia, or I am an Indonesian clown, performed a show at an evacuation center in Lumajan on Indonesia's Java Island. The performance was to restore a sense of well-being to children displaced by the Mount Sumeru eruption on December 4th, 2021, which sadly caused at least 48 fatalities and necessitated thousands of people living their homes. The youngsters laughed and clapped while watching the clowns in colorful costumes. Deddy Delon, founder of the group, stated, Our hope is that it can bring back children's happiness. There are many kids traumatized because of this eruption, and we hope that our presence here can give support to the kids. Thank you, Akubadut Indonesia, for your heartwarming performances to bring joy to children at this difficult time. May life soon return to normal for all the gentle people of Java in Allah's tender mercy. Slovenian company to release plant-based steak. Juicy Marbles is set to roll out its first product in 2022, which is a plant-based filet mignon steak. The firm has received 4.5 million US dollars in funding from sources including angel investors and the environmentally friendly search engine Ecosia's investment arm called World Fund. The steaks are made from soy protein and closely resemble the mouth feel, taste, and texture of the animal person-based counterpart, including the fat marbling. Juicy Marbles will continue developing other kinds of gourmet vegan products and is currently working on a plant-based tuna steak. Way to go, Juicy Marbles, on the upcoming release of your new gourmet vegan filet mignon. In celestial blessings, may the consumption of our animal people co-inhabitants soon be relinquished to history as we awaken to a new era of kindness and compassion for all living beings. Kind Boy in United States receives a award for helping shelter dog people get adopted. 11-year-old Evan Bisnout of New York City was awarded the 2021 American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, or ASPCA, Kid of the Year Award for his dedication to encouraging canine people in shelters as they wait for their forever homes. Evan spends time reading stories to the dog people residents, and his favorite is about 
about a dog person who lovingly gets adopted. The sweet youngster has also made extraordinary animations of the waiting dog people to help them find new homes. Evan believes the canine shelter residents are just looking for good people. Commenting on receiving the award, Evan said, It makes me feel really good, but it also makes me want to do so much more. Bravo, Evan, on your wonderful mission to help shelter dog people. We pray all canine princes and princesses are adored and respected in loving homes in God's delight.